So... Okay, I'm pretty sure we are live. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another live stream on the GR channel. Um, today we have another guest from Japan. This is Robert Adachi, fellow GRist, uh, photographer, composer and visual artist. Um, first, hello Robert. Welcome to the stream or to this channel. Hello, Linto and everybody on the live stream. Uh, is, it, is it on the screen right now? I'm, I'm checking the YouTube channel. Oh, oh it started. I think we yeah. started, but there's always a little delay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, my name is Robert. I'm a photographer, GRist. Uh, music composer and visual, visual artist, painter, and I'm live streaming from Tokyo. Yeah, f finally I, I have some here. good light and uh, <laughs> my guest has <laughs> a dark room. Usually I stream in the evening, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you have very good video quality, so that's good. Thank you. Okay, so this uh, will be a little interview, a little introduction. Um, Robert and I, we never met before. This is the first time we are talking to each other, although we had a little pre-meeting. But mm -hmm. I know very little about him and I want to know more about him. And I think it will be interesting to hear um, more about you. And let me introduce a little bit more about your site because I heard ab from you that you um, composed the GR concept movie, for example. And I'm sure many uh, of you guys who are listening to the stream uh, know that concept movie. If not, you definitely have to check it out. And I really like that concept movie because of the music, the mood. I think oh, you thank really, you. thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think you really nailed it um, with the narration. Uh -huh. and, and you also translated. Uh, pleased to hear that. You were, you, yeah, oh, yes, you also yes, translated the, 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 the text the script. Mm. So I'm going to. Yeah, Mr. Mr. G R Noguchi. Mr. Noguchi wrote the script and I translated it for, for him into English. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play yeah, a little was, part of mm. it um, just so sure, that please. we know what we are talking about. Mm. It's a little short mm -hmm. part of the concept movie. Even at this moment, photographs that will move the hearts of our children, grandchildren, and loved ones decades later are being captured somewhere on the planet. That is our pride as a cameo manufacturer and what motivates us to work for tomorrow. Oh, I think I ended a little bit too early. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you know what I mean. So check check that concept movie out to, to hear more of uh, Robert's music. Um, okay. It's on this channel, right? I'm sure we have the concept movie on this yes. channel. Yes. And uh, maybe this it's, is a good it's, it's inspiring. Yeah, it's a good segue maybe to talk a little bit about your music side. Mm -hmm. I'm sure um, we will hear a lot about your photography side as well, but mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. I think is mm -hmm. a big part of uh, what you're doing. And exactly. uh, can I ask you what came first, photography or music? Music. Yeah. I be, I make a I became a composer a long before I started, you know, photography. Mm. So uh, yeah, I have my Bandcamp Bandcamp channel, and I have you know my my music is can be found on SoundCloud, mm, mm, SoundCloud, and some other mm, Spotify, Apple Music, you know. Or the streaming channels, so, okay. um, and then <laughs> should I know we we wanted to uh, play a little bit of your music here. I'm, I'm hoping it's mm. working. Um, while I'm doing that, maybe you can talk a little bit about your process. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think you. I'm I'm making my new album right now. I'm working on them right now. I, I'm working on, on my, my new album okay, right so now. Uh, now. Little sneak peek to my new album. And I've uploaded 
three oh a couple of couple of pieces onto SoundCloud and let us uh, introduce some of them and then one of which is titled Angkor and I composed this particular piece in Cambodia when I visited uh, Angkor Wat a very famous ancient monument and then during uh, during the, during my trip I composed the music and also field fi- I did some field recording mm. so in this particular piece you can you can hear some recordings live I mean recording in Cambodia oh, so uh, okay. it, it's the, the process of making this piece is very similar to making a photo Mm-hmm. In my opinion, so uh, maybe can we can we listen to a part of it? Yeah, I'm playing it right now. I will raise okay. the volume. Uh huh. I find it very interesting because you have some drums, I'm sure. Yes, drums and uh, cicada, cicada. Yeah, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you have um, some synthesizer or some yeah, modern synthesizer. sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, as for the synth part, I composed it. I, I, I took my synthesizer to Cambodia and oh. I composed it, composed it there. And at the same time, we recorded the, the, the ambient sounds mm. of Cambodia. Yeah, I had a listen to um, some of your other uh, albums mm. on uh, mm. bands. What mm. is it called again? Bandcamp. Mm. And you do have um, one of your themes is nature, right? A lot of is, it is nature. Oh, I think so. mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I'm, re- I'm a big fan of like atmospheric. Music oh, and yeah. your music is very atmospheric. Cool. I really like um, you're mm-hmm. finding a planet or uh-huh, what was uh-huh. it? That, that's yeah. very atmospheric. <laughs> yes. So I, I'm totally interested in you know this side of you because you do music mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. photography, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm sure mm-hmm. there are similarities or things you learn from both yes. of them. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know if you have. Is there anything you you take from music that you can use mm-hmm. in photography or maybe the other way? Mm-hmm. Uh, for, for example, highlight and shadow mm. in one photo are like uh, high notes mm. and uh, bass notes in music. So the how I treat them are kind of similar. It's kind of similar. Hmm. And yeah, something else. Uh, for me, uh, taking a photo is like uh, taking a. F- it's, it's like a sampling in music. So when you go out and, and you know take a photo or. Make a sampling. Do you know? Do you know what sampling mm-hmm. is? <laughs> I, I think you. Yeah, if you feel the yeah. recording. Yeah. Mm. So recording sounds that you will use for composition is similar exactly. to you than taking mm. maybe snaps or photos mm. that will exactly. end up being exactly. a exactly. project maybe. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know you have prepared a little uh, presentation for us. Maybe we can switch over to that and. I will let mm-hmm. you talk about some of your projects and we can have a... I know you are also a little GR nerd like myself, so we can also talk a little bit about the GR cameras, of course. Um, okay. So let me quickly switch mm-hmm. to the right page. So, and hello everyone who is uh, joining us now. I see Christian Cross here. Good to see you. Uh, Mark Chen is saying his favorite song is After the Rain. 
So you already have a fan in your oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> in the you. chat. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And Thomas Harris, yeah. Here, who Hi, will Thomas. be yeah, joining you at, in the end of at the end of yes, August. the next stream after this <clears throat> we will have Thomas here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, you have this presentation here that you called "Think Outside uh, the Box." The box, yes. W why that title, or what what do you mean by that? Okay, uh, I think it's time for us to think outside the framework of photography and outside the little box called camera. Mm. And you can allow yourself to have more freedom about photography and about maybe GR. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to talk about today with Lintero, who I believe is always thinking outside the box. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, as a commercial commercial photographer, I have been working with Ricoh since around 2005. Mm. And I've been I've taken the official images for the GR Digital 3, the GXR and the GR three street edition which is on sale right now so yeah during the slideshow i'd like to talk a little bit about my experience with gr over the past 15 years and share what i can offer to you from my experience um let me know when i should move on mm. to the next slide yeah? okay 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 maybe okay. next slide. next please mm. So I'm assuming you, mm -hmm. you sh maybe your beginnings with the GR was a film GR. Did you start on a? Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 The the, the GR the GR twenty one was my first GR, and uh, many many of you already know. The GR21, but it's a film GR with the 21 millimeter mm. super wide angle lens. I still believe it's the best Japanese camera ever existed. I started using it in 2003, I believe. Mm -hmm. Daido Moriyama, Daido Moriyama was using it at the time, and I had an impression that it was. Although it was compact, the image quality was superb. Yeah. And 21 so, uh, means uh, it was probably a 21 millimeter mm -hmm. lens as well. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, 21 millimeter lens. So super wide lens. And when did you okay, next. transition mm -hmm. to a digital GR? Oh, it, well, as, as soon as the GR, GR digital one was mm. released but i still shoot analog and you know, print analog i my as a photographer my my main focus is on fine art uh, analog photography but uh, my gr21 in particular is broken oh <laughs> and I, I i sent it recall and they, they said they could no longer fix it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to find a new one, maybe. But I use Leica M's and GR21, and I they they compensate very very well each mm -hmm. with each other. Okay. Next, please. Uh, let, let me show you some of my GR21 works. Uh, all of them, I don't know. Th this one was in was taken in Yokohama, Tokyo. Mm. Mm. Next, uh, uh, lit printing. Are you familiar with the technique? Lit. L I T H. Ah, yeah, not so much, yeah, but I heard about a, it. It's an it's yeah. a yeah, it's an alternative process. Yeah. And I have been printing 
with lit for the mm. last few years. Is this what gives you this this uh, yeah contrast and, in the yeah. grains? Yeah, texture. Yes, yes, exactly. Next mm -hmm. one. And it was taken in Britain, uh, Brighton, yeah, yeah. England. This is uh, still, yeah, we Britain. are still seeing oh. GR21. Uh, for yes, yeah. GR21. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next. And also uh, England, Brighton. Mm -hmm. Next. Paris. Next, please. And Paris. I'm wearing a T-shirt with this. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right now. <laughs> By the way, <clears throat> nice. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's, it's film, and um, mm. but it's very wide, yeah. and I think it's unusual for a compact camera to be that wide. Usually, it's twenty-eight, exactly. Exactly. and twenty-one exactly. is a mm -hmm. it's a little wider than I think most people mm -hmm. like to shoot. Exactly. But there are many exactly. fans of 21, and that's why we see the 21 mm -hmm. uh, conversion lens no? now for the digital exactly. GRs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you have you used it? Yeah, I With the I'm I used to use it a lot more on my old GR on my GS3. Oh, that's yeah. I I that's have the one for the GS3. I have to admit I don't like the wide angle that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes I like it, okay. but uh, okay. for me it's a yeah. little bit too wide sometimes. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of agree mm -hmm. that now. Okay. So this is probably and a first, uh, first GR then, or this is okay. the yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I bought the GR Digital One on the day it was released. Oh wow! And obviously, I wasn't working with Ricoh then. Mm -hmm. But uh, since then on, I have used all the GR models, starting from the GR Digital One to the current GR3. Oh, wow. So which one is your favorite? And I, okay, <laughs> I, I have special feelings towards uh, the first GR Digital 1 mm -hmm. and the GR Digital 3. Mm -hmm. Not the GR 3, the current GR 3, the GR Digital 3, because the former, the GR Digital 1, was the very first digital GR. And the latter, the, G, the GR Digital 3, I was in charge of the catalog images, mm -hmm. you know brochure images so uh, but i like the gr the gr3 the current gr3 very much too yeah i for 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 some reason i like the odd numbers of <laughs> ah yeah you know the generation one three i don't know i don't know why mm. okay okay next yeah. one please mm. And this one was taken with the GR Digital One. I shot it with in in raw format. What was the resolution at that time for the GR Digital One? I don't uh, remember. I forgot. I forgot. I don't. I don't remember. It must either. be under but 10 megapixels, probably. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Okay. And this one was with the GR Digital Two. Hmm. So you really in Japan owned every GR since digital. Yes, yes. From from the from the from the old yeah. generations. Yes. So what what and next what did mm. uh, the GR Digital Two give you over the Digital One? What was the uh, new feature? The the two, in my opinion, was more. How can I say? uh surreal <laughs> <laughs> okay in a way uh it, it it had some kind of surreal you know feeling mm -hmm. to the picture yeah to the image yeah many gr fans they talk about mm -hmm. the specifically about the gr digital cameras that the sensor it's mm -hmm. uh, was it still ccd probably yes yeah, CCD. yeah. CCD. and ccds mm -hmm. they have a different quality than cmos and uh -huh. Many people really like the CCD sensors. Yeah, yeah. It, it had it, it had its limitations, but mm. uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, especially the GR Digital One, it had sort of a three-dimensional feel to it. Mm -hmm. You know, 
every every model had its you know own characteristics but uh, can can you go back a little bit yeah one one picture mm. this one was used in the catalog you know brochure of the g r digital tree mm. Mm. Street photography. Next one, please. Uh, not many people do the long exposure <laughs> with the <laughs> GR digital <laughs> GR, but uh, this one probably four seconds, five seconds, mm -hmm. ten seconds, something like that. I don't, I don't really remember, but the GR digital three. This one Next is from one, the same. Same camera, same day, probably. Same, yeah. yeah, same camera, yeah, same. I I took them for the catalog, but they didn't. Obviously, they didn't use them for the catalog. No. But my my favorite images <laughs> from that from from that collection. Ah, I see. So okay. why did Rico not use it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it was too blurry, oh, okay. or maybe it wasn't candid. Mm. I mean, uh, you know, the the. Uh, one of the you know main selling points yeah. of, of gr is you know it's it's good for candid photos right yeah okay going to APSC. this is the first gr ah. with no number APSC gr yeah I have mine here too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Is is it your favorite? It was it was my first GR, and mm -hmm. because of oh, that, yeah, so. I have so. of course emotional. I'm more emotionally attached to the first <laughs> APS-C GR. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and this one but I'm curious to test the digital oh. series. Oh yeah, yeah, but you'll be you'll be surprised how slow they were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. But you can find yeah. them very, very cheap nowadays. Cheap, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. So this is um, GRAPC? GR. GRAPC, mm. yes. How was it for you jumping from, uh, I think, one inch sensor to APSC? Oh. Was it a big deal for you? In terms of, uh, in terms of bokeh, maybe, mm. yes. Ah, yeah. But overall, Usability, maybe not too much, mm -hmm. but the body itself became bigger. Right. From from GR Digital Four to GR, so uh, it it kind of you know affected how I how I shoot. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. How do you feel about the GS Three now being smaller again? Oh yes, it's it's. I I'm. You like it? Tot totally. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do like it. So do you feel more at home now with the GS3 because you're used to the small GS Digital? Oh yeah, in in terms of size, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I think many people like like myself. Um, I mean, uh -huh. to 2013, I think the GS1 uh -huh. came out or the GR. Uh -huh. okay. For me, I I never had the GS Digital in my hands, so okay. I'm used to this okay. size the GS3 mm -hmm. became much smaller and I know the reason for it because they wanted to make it small again like the GS Digital okay but for me it was never a feeling of wow <laughs> this is the right size so it's interesting to okay. hear from a GS Digital uh, user right, right. Mm. <laughs> but as a as a film digit film GR user ah. uh, it's a little bit bigger I guess. Uh, yeah? yeah yeah right right but uh, you know mm, yeah. I get used to it <laughs> But uh, I, I, I ride, I ride my bicycle a lot, a, a lot, so it's it's good that I can shoot with one hand. Ah, yeah, mm. I, I have to hold. say that that the GS3 because of it, it's smaller, it's mm -hmm. I think makes it really a little bit easier to use one-handed, because exactly. everything you can mm. feel in one hand and. Mm -hmm. GR1, everything has more space, so it's a little bit, you have to move your fingers more. <laughs> yes, that's so, correct. Okay, this one is so also GR1? This one, one oh, G, this is GR2, I believe. So GR2. 
Gia 2. Yeah. 2. Yeah, Gia 2 and Gia 1, there was, mm, there was only the Wi Fi, right? Mm. Mm. I think yeah, there but, was. Uh, mm. Gia, this, this one was with uh, Gia 3. Next, please. GR3. How do you find <laughs> the the colors from GR? Oh, I, I like it. Yeah? I like it. Mm. Well, what about you? Uh, I'm still not sure. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like both very much, but I like them for different okay. reasons. And okay, okay, yeah. Well, when when the GR with APS-C was released, I talked yeah. I talked with. Uh, uh, people from Recall, mm -hmm. and then one of them mentioned that uh, they tried to get as close to CCD as possible ah. in terms of colors. You know, interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really a big fan of GR1 and two colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think in 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 the shadow part, mm -hmm. you can feel some kind of a CCD-ish. Mm. atmosphere have have you been involved in uh with the uh film uh, with the effects the picture profiles uh with the uh, with the g r digital one or two yes but mm -hmm. since then no <laughs> okay yeah i i really i'm a big fan of the positive film filter uh -huh. really uh -huh. like it yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I agree. I agree. I would love to hear one day. I don't know if the the person who's responsible would love to hear maybe more about that. You know the mm -hmm. thought process mm -hmm. because it, it feels to me mm -hmm. like they try to make it behave differently in, in light, different light. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's my imagination, oh. but it feels so much more than oh. just a simple filter. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a that's a good point. Maybe. Mm. Okay, mm. I will. I, I I like I like your film photography, by the way. Oh, you know. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do when, much. When, when you when you when when you came to Tokyo last time, yeah. you took with uh, like a CL, right? Uh, Minolta with CLE. The, Minolta, uh, Minolta CL. Yeah. Yes, yes. With the twenty-eight millimeter mm -hmm. lens, I like them very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not shooting film that much, but uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoy enjoy yeah. it. Mm -hmm. It's just so expensive and <laughs> time consuming. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Time consuming. Yeah. Okay, next please. Yep. Portrait with GS3. Yeah, portrait. Yes. I'm not sure if you had uh -huh. text in here because it says double click to oh. edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no. Yeah. When you when you play it it will disappear. <laughs> oh this is uh Oh I see. Yeah, I'm not in presentation oh, mode. That's why. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. it's, it's okay. So you you take portraits with the GS3? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, GS3. And one of the things I may want to dig deeper into with the GR3 right now is portrait. Mm. Yeah, and a conventional way to take portraits is to use a, for example, an uh, an 85 millimeter lens or something, mm. and make use of you know blurry blurry bokeh. But I see some great portraits taken with the GR on Instagram, so mm. I'm pretty interested in that right now. And so uh, these are the examples that I took this year. Yeah, this next. doesn't look like you mm. know 28. Did you use any crop mode or? Oh yeah, I yeah, yeah I did I did use the crop mode. Fifty. Oh, 50. 50 yeah. millimeter. How do mm. you find? Crop. Do you find? It's, it's, it's it, yeah, yeah it's, it's it's very comfortable. Mm. Yeah, I like it. So, I, so when I take a portrait, I use I often use fifty millimeter crop. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I used fifty next once to mm. take a, a, a mm. headshot of myself for a <laughs> <laughs> for a passport. Okay. So it does it does work, and the re resolution is definitely high enough for that yes yes high enough uh, mm. i've seen a lot of uh printed images of uh 50 meter 50 millimeter crops yeah. 
they're, they're, they're just fine. Okay, next one. These are taken with the nat natural light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here, but very moody light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, you w wouldn't think about taking portraits using a GR, but mm. I'm sure as, as you're showing here that it's definitely possible. Can you say that again? Uh, I mean, um, mm. I'm sure it's possible to take portraits, seeing that mm. you are able to take portraits. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. You can't, you can't enjoy, you know, bokeh side of you know, photography, but uh, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I, I, I feel very comfortable using the GR with portraits. Yeah, bokeh is not everything. It's it's sure. very sure. beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, it's not needed always. Exactly. So, okay, w we are now at the next slide. So, where are okay. we going? <laughs> so, where, where are we going? <laughs> uh, well known Japanese photographer Takashi Homma. Have you ever heard of him? Takashi Homma? Says, Homma. Yes, Takashi Homma says candid photograph in his in his words mm. straight photos are harder than before to be considered new expression mm -hmm. so uh next please so more art photos today are by his terms either set up mm. or edited so set set up photos are taken in a situation that the photographer sets up. You may call some of them fake, you know. And uh, more elements in photographs are either conceptually edited or visually edited. Right. So let me give you some examples. Next one, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are examples of. Uh, in his term, set up, set set up photos. Yeah, I, I I took I took them. I've taken them from Instagram, and they they were all set up, you know. Right. Uh, and next one, please. Hmm. And this image either visually edited or conceptually edited. So, uh, Mr. Homa, mm. yeah, Mr. Homa says, you know, uh, these set up photos and uh, edited photos are considered new. I mean, newer than straight photos. Mm -hmm. So uh, the candid candid photography, which GR is known to be good at, is harder than ever to be considered new expression so we have to think more creatively if we want to do something new hmm. i see because these photos are um probably the edited yes um, edited yeah they are not um cons conceptually staged or set up mm -hmm. but you see in how the photographer edits the colors mm -hmm. exactly. so Okay. Next, pl next yep. please. Uh, I think this we already seen. Maybe it's double. Mm. Okay. This one. The next one. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, in order to do something new in this rapidly changing and exp expanding world of photography, if you want to be original and create something new, right? I believe you have to follow your passion. Otherwise, you can't catch up with it. Yeah. Uh, and do what you love. Act on your excitement so that you can put everything that you have onto what you really want to achieve. 
And my my passion, by the way, right now is to create a new form of art through different mediums like music, painting, photograph, and so on. So I'd like to think outside the box and find new find new possibilities. Yeah, there's an introduction video of you on on the GR Photography channel, mm -hmm. and uh, it shows uh, a lot of your paintings, or you paint a lot. Is that something that uh, came before photography or after photography? I I started art and you know, drawing and painting when I was a teenager. Mm. But uh, my, I didn't pursue my career as a as an artist. And then I went to college and studied international law. And that's a totally different <laughs> field. <Yeah. laughs> and then I changed my mind again and started music composition instead of visual arts. And then uh, photography came to my world and started with a Leica M6. Nice. <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I was so absorbed in photography when I started, when I just started with the Leica. And then, you know, gradually everything became interesting equally mm -hmm. and then right now i'm i'm working on almost everything equally yeah and um, for for that but for the past a couple of months i've been focusing on my new music album but um i i i have a i have an exhibition painting watercolor exhibition coming up in october in Japan, Hokkaido. Mm. So uh, a lot of things are going on at the same time. Cool. So what is your, um, what would you say is your main outlet for, for your art or how, how do you like to express yourself? It looks like you use a lot of mediums. Mm -hmm. And do you feel at this moment you need all of these mediums? Yeah, uh, I I think so. I think so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think music has been in the center of my passion, just like you know, GR has been in the center of <laughs> photographer. In the heart of But, the uh, photographer. <laughs> in, the, in the heart of the <laughs> photographer. <Yeah. laughs> the music has been in the heart of my to yourself mm. but uh, you know uh, photography and painting and both have different aspects I and mean, a different impact yeah upon form of art so uh, I can't I can't say which mm. I, I mean I can I can only imagine because I don't paint a lot. I used to draw uh, mm -hmm. mangas or comics. <laughs> oh, I does so. Yeah, when I was very little. But I does so. Is that <laughs> your mother's influence? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. My, my grandfather oh. was a painter. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, see. Oh, okay. And my, I have a little brother who still paints. He is uh, at art school right now. Um, oh, that's so. Oh, but okay. I see when my brother, for example, paints, he uses almost only his imagination he's not painting mm. something from the scene uh -huh. he has mm -hmm. sometimes references photos or mm -hmm. other paintings mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or some feelings and i can imagine that when you paint you probably um you have unlimited options right you can yes do yes. what you want basically with yes, a photograph yes. you in mo mostly in interpret things exactly correct exactly. Is, is there that's probably also a fascina fascination must be a fascination for you to have these limitations maybe with photography yes right? yes 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 limitations can be source of you know inspiration or creativity 
Yeah. So uh, limitations breed you know, creativity. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, that's that's what I love about photography as well. Uh, in in painting, especially oil painting, uh, there are too many options. <laughs> you can do whatever you can do whatever you yeah. want with oil for taking photographs. You have to commit yourself to one small, you know, area of uh, visibility. Yeah. So and you. It's cha- it's challenging, but mm. it's exciting as well. You have to play uh, with the time as well. Not a, you. You cannot stop and paint and photograph something later. A lot of the exactly. time, exactly. You, exactly. You, with paintings, you can probably spend a week thinking about it before you start. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah. when I started taking photos, I I was so satisfied with the speed mm. of uh, photographs because uh, when I when I draw something I take a lot of time you know what I mm-hmm. mean right <laughs> because you're uh, you, you draw yeah so uh, for, for me you know taking a photo is like you know a very quick uh, drawing mm. so, uh, it was very satisfying at the time have you used your own but photography that, mm. as an inspiration for your paintings yeah, sometimes i do mm. and then you probably use paintings also for your music i i can assume exactly or your photography exactly because exactly. i find your mm. album covers i mean they're probably your photos or paintings. oh yes my photos <laughs> and my pain, paintings they, <laughs> they really fit the music <laughs> so thank you i, I think so. uh you can you can tell that it's a, it's the same author the same mm-hmm. person exactly. Yeah. exactly really interesting i really like you know listening to music and having images coming up as a consumer uh-huh. of music uh-huh. Uh-huh. and seeing uh whatever the artist the musician decides as a mm. visual mm. element mm-hmm. is also interesting because sometimes it matches sometimes not but i feel like with your music because it's you it's, it naturally fits <laughs> the photos mm-hmm. you choose right 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 and then it gives the music also another element mm. exactly yeah it's funny but i don't i don't take much i don't need much time to decide which image mm. to choose which image to use for the album jacket it's a it's a very instant <laughs> mm-hmm. instinct <laughs> yeah that's it's probably your uh, your intention your gut feeling mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yeah pro- probably, that's probably yes. this mm-hmm. uh, what we do when we photograph we also mm-hmm. have oh, to yes, yes. use our instincts uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially s- since you are a street photographer. Mm. You use a lot of uh instinct, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So what what are you photographing the most um or usually? Are, are you focused on anything specific nowadays? Mm. Nowadays uh since I can't go anywhere. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't travel anywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh Next week or the, the week before, I'm planning to have a location. Uh, in in this case, movie mm. for my for my new music piece. There'll be my uh, you know visuals. Are oh, you going to yeah. record videos as a visual? Videos visuals for for the for for my new piece of music mm. have you done that before like ma- m- matching music and uh oh yes videos? yes yes yeah yes yes but uh this this time i I'm, I'm hiring a an actress actor mm. and let her play 
So uh, this is going to be a little bit more. There, there will be more story involved mm -hmm. in that particular movie. So uh, I'm pretty in excited about it. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. So you are, yeah, um, you're becoming a director for. Ah uh, yes, yes. For, your, for, the, for, for my own own music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. why you use the Sigma FP at the moment? <laughs> uh, well, well, to tell the truth, this to tell mm. the truth, this camera belongs to my wife. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, she's 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 more high tech. Oh, really? Than I am. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, she loves, you know, tech stuff. <laughs> okay, interesting. Usually, it's yeah. opposite. <laughs> Yeah, usually the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. well, when I when I first when I first became interested in photography, my my, my wife was searching for her new uh, new camera, mm -hmm. and I wasn't interested in cameras at all at the time. But with my wife, I was reading magazines and. Mm going to shops and and gradually I became interested <laughs> and then I finally found a Leica <laughs> so what did your wife then get for for a camera <laughs> <laughs> well since she was going to uh, her friend's wedding she chose a contacts area are you familiar with that camera contacts contacts, mm, contacts. Is... S SLR yeah, so it mu mm. must be a film camera then. What camera? It, it must be then a film Fil camera. Film, yeah. yeah, film camera. Film camera. It was in mm -hmm. two in two thousand two or three. Ah, I okay. Believe. Yeah, mm. there were still film cameras mm. out there. Yeah. Yes. So yes. No. does she no. ever use the GR? I think that's <laughs> what oh, yes, people yes. want to know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, she likes the GR. Yes, yeah, she she does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think most. Um, uh, I actually don't know that many uh, female photographers in my area, but I know right. a lot in Japan, right. and uh, more in China. Yeah, or, I mean they yeah. are okay. Yeah, I heard that from some Rico guys that there are a lot of uh -huh. women in China interested in the GR. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, um, but uh, it's uh, my wife, for example, does like the GR. She thinks mm -hmm. it's uh, looks very cool. <laughs> she doesn't oh. take photos, but okay. Uh, okay. I have a feeling that Asian, maybe Asian women have a have a slight interest towards cameras like the GR. Whereas I think m when, when I compare it to friends I have here in Germany, mm -hmm. most of them are very focused on uh, the photography, the art, not so much the technical. I see. They're very serious female photographers uh -huh. here. But uh -huh. I feel like uh -huh. uh, in Asia, the culture is a little bit different and photography is... Uh, there's a pho camera culture in, in Japan, right? And I don't yes. think we have that mm. here in Germany. Oh, it does so. Mm. It's more about photography uh -huh. and it's very serious. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, looking looking at the websites, I, mm. I, I, I have a different impression yeah there are there are as many you know gear to gear oriented people mm. in europe as well oh yeah yeah I, I, mm. but, but yeah mm, women here in japan are much less interested in gear than men mm. i think that's the case if we were in the world probably has to do also with the you know how do you say you know women are more engaged with the left side of the brain and more about ah, yes, right yes, yes. about uh, yeah. how do you say you see that in the the art world as well mm. Mm -hmm. yes and uh, men are usually more gear oriented because technical mm. tools mm. it's <laughs> we don't exactly. think too much about exactly. the photography we <laughs> want to play with cameras uh -huh. who has the uh -huh. better camera uh -huh. i have the biggest camera and then 
Uh, <laughs> I have an. Imp- I also have an impression that uh, Japanese women are more inter- more interested in self expression mm. than men. You, know, the, you you said you know women in Europe are interested in serious art, whereas you know women in Japan are more interested in self expression mm-hmm. that uh, for for me there's a slight difference between them hmm. yeah that's mm. a interesting topic <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 there's a i think i think that's that's because uh there's some kind of pressure social mm-hmm. mm, we we have more pressure from the society right suppression from the society so that you know a lot of a lot of people want to go outside the Hmm. suppression or whatever yeah i think individualism is not so Mm. not looked as something positive (laughs) in japan society right 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 right, right. it's more about um, being part of being part of yeah the, the group s- yes. group yeah society mm-hmm. yeah so much interesting stuff is coming from japan because of that i think oh yes yes yeah. yes mm. <laughs> yeah i mean we are uh getting close to one hour so if there are any questions from you in the chat if you want to know something we still have a little time we are here for you um didn't really talk much gr but uh, mm. <laughs> it's not always about the gears we just <laughs> <laughs> so i will have a quick look at mm. the stats no. so. any um besides your um music do you have any photo projects you're working on or ideas for mm. Well, maybe portraits with the GR3. Mm. Do you have mm. any personal wishes for the future of the GR? Oh, there are many. <laughs> <laughs> do you talk to, um, like, do you give Rico, like, uh, your your feedback on the cameras and or... Because I know they get a lot of uh requests from uh-huh. the users the community uh-huh. about firmware updates right, right, and, right. Mm. Um, i i i try i try to i try not to talk too much about my requests mm. to the rico stuff because uh i don't want them to be you know i don't want them to feel the obligation i see yeah <laughs> Uh, but uh, there are some requests, mm. at least with the GR three. Most of most of them are regarding movie taking. Oh, okay. Videos, yes. So you would like to use the GR three more for video? Oh yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I I think video is probably not the highest priority for for Rico, but I can see why that could be um, useful if if you Mm. travel and I mean, for most people, I think the GR is uh, probably a very good option for traveling and then you want Mm. to sometimes shoot some video. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So there are there are two questions in the chat. Um, someone is okay. uh, Q Sam is asking which is your favorite analog SLR camera and lens for black and white film. SLR. Does it does it include medium format? <laughs> oh, I I think so. <laughs> I, don't, I think so. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, it's not SLR, but uh, I've been using. Ecoflex. Hmm. 
six by six uh, medium format camera. It's not it's not an SLR, but uh, and my favorite black and white film films have been Tri-X, FP4, and HP5. When do you use uh, FP4? So I also really like the look, but I haven't used it yet. Oh, yeah. Do you use uh, it for some specific uh, images? I think I think uh, the the FP4 is my most favorite film mm. of all, but because it because of its uh, sensitivity, ISO 125. Yeah. Uh, because it's, because it's for that because of that limitation, I don't use it so often. Mm. I use it. I use the Trix the most. What about you? Intel? For me, it's HP mm. five uh, because it's, it's a little bit cheaper than Trix, mm -hmm. and. HP5 is very flexible. You mm -hmm. can yes. push it a lot mm. or pull it a lot. Mm. I think mm -hmm. Trix as well, but uh, whenever I shot Trix, uh, for me, there was always a little bit too aggressive grain <laughs> oh, yeah, contrast. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. um, not so much contrast, but I, oh, I know yeah. people really like Trix because of uh -huh. strong contrast. That's true. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I I uh, I have a couple of combinations that I especially like. For example, the GR21 and Trix and uh Minota TC1 mm. and HP5. Like <laughs> <laughs> ah. Leica with FP4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's uh cool to have one film for each camera because uh -huh. you can use any film but if you have a camera specifically for one film then mm -hmm. uh, makes it even simpler the same lens mm -hmm. same look um, mm -hmm. there's a question from Mark Chen uh, how about plans to pu publish another photo book oh, oh. <laughs> what about you Oh, I I, I don't a, have a plan? plan. I don't have a project. <laughs> I need to photograph mm -hmm. a project first. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe yeah. a zine someday. Mm. Mm. Have you published a Not for, for mm -hmm. yeah, yes, yeah. yes, photo book. Yes, one. And you can order it from mm, through through Amazon. Mm. You can. Publish on demand. Yeah, Do, what, is that the term? Yeah, that yeah. when you order, they make it mm. only when you order. Mm. Yeah, mm. I I've published my first photo book in two thousand and thirteen, I believe. Mm -hmm. And since then, there have been no plans for my next mm. photo book. But I'm always ready <laughs> yeah. to be offered. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a question from Luis Alberto. Which other GRist uh, work do you admire or recommend? Oh, are you um, connected to the other uh, GRists in, in Japan? Because mm -hmm. they are mostly uh, yes. Japanese photographers. At the moment, yes, yes, yes. But I'm interested. Uh, Sean, Sean, Tuck, Tuck? <laughs> Tucker, Sean Tucker, Sean Tucker. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been on your channel, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah. He's a uh, GR shooter as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like him a lot. Yeah. And in Japan, I I see so many. I I know so many GRists, and I it's hard hard to pick one. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to talk with uh, the newest GRist on. Uh, from China, her mm. name is Chan uh, Chin. Oh, it's it's very Chan, new, right? Chan, 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 I haven't Chin. seen it yet. Uh, yeah, very new. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And I I read her article, and mm. she's very passionate about her photographs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'd like to see her in person. Yeah, I, I'm. She lost. She lost her hair oh, really? when she was very little. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, that's. She, that oh, okay. She has. She, she thinks. She thinks that the GR was, you know, made for her. <laughs> oh wow! I haven't seen uh, read she her article it with, yet. Uh, with one hand. Yes. Yeah, I'm very very passionate. Yeah, very in sounds very interesting, and I'm sure we will have um, more GRist um, also here on, on mm -hmm. the channel. This is what we want to yes, do, because yes, yes. mm -hmm. I I only met from the Japanese GRs. I met um, a few uh, at a meetup in Japan, but um, oh yes yes yes. And of course, I know the ones in in Europe, but uh, other than mm -hmm. that, I I have right. no real contact right. to them. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I know I know many of them on the list. <laughs> And it's not they're not only yeah. photographers right i because the no, gr no, in, are, in, in in the western mm. or in europe mm. in america i think mm. the gr is known for a street photography camera snap uh shooter mm. Mm -hmm. um, but snap photography can be anything doesn't need to be street only right exactly and i think there are lots of uh, musicians here as well who, who use yes. the camera to yes. document mm. or mm. yeah yeah so okay i guess it's been yeah not no more questions it's been an hour <laughs> <laughs> so will we see uh some content on this channel from you maybe is there anything planned or or where can we see your um music video if you if when you finish it oh okay okay i'll, I'll let you know when it when it's published okay cool mm. yeah uh, i'm sure we will have it'll be on, um, it'll, it'll be on mm. youtube oh mm. so where yeah, maybe to to uh, wrap this up, um, where can people mm -hmm. find you? I know you have uh, your details in the mm -hmm. presentation. So mm -hmm. I have Instagram. Yeah, that's the page. Mm. So yeah, we we will make sure we have uh, links to to all of them in the description as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was nice meeting you mm -hmm. finally. Oh, yes, yes. And I hope, uh, I really hope, I mean, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I hope we, we right. can meet someday so, in Japan. Yeah, meet, meet yeah. Yeah, in person. W where <laughs> are you in Japan, by the way? Are you in, 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 in Tokyo. Tokyo? In Tokyo. Okay. Th then it's... Mm. Near the near the Tokyo Tower. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, then there's a high possibility that will uh, someday happen. <laughs> yes. We will see. Maybe next year. Definitely. We don't know about uh, how it's going to uh, look. Nobody knows. Yeah, but hopefully soon. Yeah. I'm hoping the Olympics, uh, Tokyo Olympics, oh, yes, will yes, be held. Yes. That yes. was my plan this year, uh -huh. but... Oh, it does so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, you'll be... Hmm? It will not be postponed yeah. again. Oh, I, <laughs> I think so too, but maybe they, it It'll will be, be very stopped. different. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. But we will see. So, okay. Yeah, it was it was it was great talking to you, and 
it's been it's been great talking to you and hope to see you likewise and yeah see everybody on the net again yeah everyone who is listening thank you for hanging out uh, we will have thank you for yeah thank you we will have uh, another guest this month and uh, i think 29 mm -hmm. august um, best as you subscribe to this channel to get notified and if you have any mm -hmm. suggestions for guests other jarists let us know we always like to hear uh, who you want to see and i hope you enjoyed this uh, stream and find us in the description uh, all the links our instagram discord if you want to connect to other gi users and yeah see you very soon so bye from germany and bye from tokyo <laughs> bye from tokyo